Hey, what's up CSU? Thanks for tuning in to this YouTube channel. We just want this to be a space for you to grow in your faith, have a little fun, connect with all of us here at Cornerstone Church and other people, whatever church you're from. If you're not from a church, whatever, we're so glad that you're here. We're doing a little thing called Bible Q&A and you can submit questions on our Instagram or you could submit questions in the comments below and we'll just answer them for fun on Fridays or maybe a different day. We're just having fun doing it. So here's the first question we got. The first question we got is, where is the place to start reading in the Bible? That's a great question. So the Bible's big, it's like a library, it's a, it's a sacred tome and codex, to use a few big words. Uh, where do you start? Like you start at the beginning? Do you start at the New Testament? Like how, how do you know like where to, to crack this thing? Because it's, it's complicated, you know? And I see this question about lots of different art forms. People will be like, where do I start with Star Trek? Where do I start listening to this band? I don't know where in their discography to start. It's a great question. I, I see it as really two different ways of starting it. You can start at the beginning. You can start in Genesis. Um, see how God created the world, uh, learn about the covenants with Abraham and then with Moses and then with David and then the foreshadowed one with Jesus through Jeremiah. Um, it's difficult to make it through all of the law if you have a, don't have a good understanding of everything that's going on because it feels boring until you understand uh, more of the layered example and picture elements that are going on in the law. But I think Genesis is a great place to start. Um, it, it is uh, where the Bible starts. Um, if you've never read the Bible before, I would recommend that you start with the Gospel of John. Uh, there's four Gospels that, are, that tell the story of Jesus from a different perspective. Matthew tells about Jesus as king. Uh, Mark tells about Jesus as the suffering servant. Luke tells about Jesus the teacher. And John is about Jesus the friend and savior. And the word believe uh, is in the book of John 99 times. And it's a wonderful way to uh, enter into the content of the Bible, to learn about the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the savior of the world and how he came fixed the problems of the Old Testament, subverted the religion of Judaism, created a brand new covenant and law that's based on faith, uh, not on religion, and is based on uh, a kingdom mentality, not a nationalist mentality. And I gotta tell you, if you're starting the Bible, don't just read it like any other book, because it's not like any other book. I mean, read it narratively like other books, but God himself will be with you and the Holy Spirit, if you're a follower of Christ, has indwelt you and will lead you and teach you as you study. It's, it's unlike any other book, it's, it's, it's a remarkable thing. And I would just encourage you, if you're gonna start with Genesis or John, sit down and say, God, uh, I wanna know you. The Bible isn't about knowing the Bible, the Bible is about knowing the author. And I would encourage you to pray and ask God, God, I wanna know the author. Um, I think that would be a great place to start. Hey, thanks for watching that Bible Q&A video. Um, you're supposed to like, what do people say on YouTube? They're like, like this video, subscribe, share, comment. You know, we read all the, the comments and we'd love to hear any more questions you have and all the stuff that people say at the end of YouTube videos.